Welcome to part 5 of my Norway fishing adventure. If you have missed the previous parts, head over to my YouTube channel, find a playlist Norway, and you can catch up on all the episodes you've missed there. This episode is entitled The Coast, and for the simple reason, we are on the coast of Norway, we're not fishing the fjords, and we're looking for some place and dabs mainly. Let's see how we got on. Hello, welcome back to day 5 of my Norway fishing trip with Guided Fish in Norway. We're on the coast today and we're targeting big place, big Norwegian place. We uh, are a mark that's fairly shallow by comparison to the ones we've been fishing in the fjords. We're on the coast, mainly sandy out there. Hopefully should throw up some decent flats and all the other usual culprits like cod and haddock and things. Um, just about to send the first rig out using a Wishbone that I knocked up earlier, just a, basically a heavy duty version of what I would normally use in the UK. So I'm going to get this bait sent out. On the second rod, I'll be using a single panel, uh, fairly similar tactics, lots of flash on there, um, just see what performs better. If I don't get any bites, I might change down to a smaller hook. But yeah, we'll uh, get the first one out and I'll keep you updated. Alright, so on one side of the uh, wishbone, I'm going to be using Oops, over that. Sand eels. I'm going to try and keep the bait fairly short though. Because I actually want to hook the bloody things. Something like that. I haven't got any bait elastic, have I? Whoops. Right, so I found some elastic now, so. A little bit of sand eel. John will shout at me if I'm. Uh, putting too much bait on, so I'm trying to keep it down. That's it, That's side one done. Oh, don't do that fall down there. Good old black lug for the other side. Don't be shy on the elastic. Oh, don't stab yourself with hook as well. That's it. Super place rig. We fished this mark for a few hours. John produced a small codlin. Uh, we decided to move on to the second mark to see if we could find some place. Hello, welcome back. Um, yeah, so the previous mark, we didn't have any bites. We were only there for about an hour and a half. So we thought we'd move to a new location, which John's has never fished before. We just cast one out, just want to make sure I can actually get it back. Um, still going for the place, there's still similar sort of conditions and, and um, terrain out there. So hopefully there will be a few. If this is fishing though, you never know. And hopefully is my favorite word, as you probably guessed, but it is. You're at the mercy of the elements and nature. 
it's not guaranteed even if, even if you come to Norway. So let's try and get some fish. I'll get the first rod out. Well, I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. It's been really enjoyable to film. It's been an amazing trip. It's not over yet. And there's a few more days to go, which I'm absolutely buzzing for. Just a quick mention, if you do like the content, please drop a like, share, subscribe, all of the fun things that YouTubers ask you to do. It really does help the channel grow and it helps me, allow, allows me to do more stuff, more interesting stuff to film and get away on trips like this. So thank you for all the support um, thus far. I only intend to make the channel better, get better at filming, get better at producing content. So, well, just thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the series. Don't fall off. Missed it. Something there? Yeah. Do you want me to get the thing? No. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, that is a place. Happy days. <laughs> yeah. It's ever I thought when I swung it up. Yeah, I was going to say, do you want me to get the thing? <laughs> yeah, baby. Wee. Right, just don't get me ready. Get the scales quick because they lose weight really fast. I'm on it. This is when I suddenly realised that I left the scales in the car and I was oh, frantically looking through my bag just double checking that I definitely did leave them in the car uh, and then I had to run all the way back to the car to get the scales so oh. I haven't got them I have to go back to the car are you kidding? No, I've only got the handle. Right, um, 40 pound scales. Now, where's my keys? Thought my bag was a bit empty today. It's a little dark, this one, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's get a bay out. Nice place. Yeah. Just take some photos of it, I'll can't bleed it in a minute. Yeah, it's nice. See that? That's what you mean when you, you find a new mark. And um get some there, that's the size you get them. Yeah. You know, between two two and a half pound and say six pound. That's it. That'd be a fantastic fish from the UK, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They do get them this big. Not very often, but they do. 
It's getting through the small ones though, isn't it? Yeah. After a few hours at that mark, we finally moved over to the final mark of the day, which was a sandy beach, um, not too far from the second place we were fishing. Uh, we're moving around a lot today just to see if we can find the fish, so on to the third mark we go. Okay, so we're at the third location now. On a beach. Probably the first and last beach that we'll fish in Norway. Something a bit different. See if we can produce a place on there where you would normally find the bloody things. And the sand looks really cool, it's got like flakes of quartz in it. Anyway. Let's get this one out. We can talk more crap. What's that? Well, unfortunately, it didn't happen today. Um, like I said earlier in the video, just because I'm in Norway doesn't mean I'm going to catch all the time. The light's starting to fade now. We're just packing up. Um, I've had bites, but we've, there's a sandbar out on this beach. I keep losing fish on it. I don't know if I've had any or not, but John's had a couple and lost them on it, so uh, he's packed up. And that is where the battery of my GoPro died. And guess what? On the last cast, I was reeling in the last reel. I had a decent knock. Knock, knock, knock. For oh, that's a fish. I've not been used to that all day. Struck into it, and it was a lovely double-figure cod. I've only got photos to show you, unfortunately. It would have been a great way to top the video off, but I didn't have any battery on the GoPro, so... Here's some stills. Well, it really was a perfect ending to a pretty tough day. Um, I'm really glad I caught that fish, obvious reasons, and it's the biggest short caught cod I've ever got. So, PB, thanks for watching again, um, and I'll see you on the next one.